Hello everyone! In this video we'll finally witness the departure of the Julian Satellite Explorer, a mothership that would allow Kerbals to visit all the of the moons of Jul. But before it happens, we have some final preparations to do. The GSE is parked on 10,000 km orbit around Kerbin. It has used a considerable amount of fuel to get there, so it needs to be filled up. I'm sending up two 300 ton tankers. They should be enough to refuel the main tanks. For docking, they use the additional docking ports placed on far ends of the truss. After connecting, all of the liquid fuel is transferred to the GSE. Exactly the same procedure applies to another tanker. Hull refueling is completed without any surprises. After fuel transfer, both of the tankers dock with each other and they use the leftover fuel to the orbit. Burning 8 nuclear engines in the upper atmosphere raised some concerns, but Kerbals can't be stopped by such insignificant issues like radioactive fallout. Next up, additional smaller tanker has been launched. It will top off the oxidizer tanks. Oxidizer is used by GSA RCS as well as by the lander. And talking about the lander, I'm going to need a new one. After some more testing, I found out that the existing one won't have enough delta V to get to orbit from life's surface. So I have designed a new, much bigger and much more capable lander. So the old one needs to undock to free the docking port for the space plane. The center of mass of the lander goes more or less through the docking port, so the whole assembly should be very balanced. Finally, the crew starts the first part of their journey. They have used a capsule to rendezvous with the GSE, which will become their home for several years. Later, both crew capsule and old lander have detached and moved away from the mothership. At last, Julian Satellite Explorer is ready to depart to study the system of Jul. To get to the proper trajectory, a 37 minute burn is required. The small tanker was drained first and was quickly detached. The GSE is configured in asparagus staging, so the tanks on secondary trusses were feeding all of the nuclear engines for most of the burn. Shortly before it has finished, they were detached and another pair of tanks started to use its fuel. The whole burn was performed nominally, and the GSE is on its way to the biggest planet of Je ne sais quoi system. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and see you again in my next video.